Hello, everyone. Hey, everyone. So, Ram, just give it a minute. We have attendees joining in. Sure, sure. Folks, we are uh, waiting for all people in the common area to join the session. We'll just get started in a minute. Just a few more seconds, folks. So I think people are still joining in the session. We'll get started. Then can you please confirm of the presentation as well? Yes. Okay, folks, if you are able to hear us, can you give us thumbs up? All right, we'll get started. Over to you, Ram. Thanks, Jitan. Good morning, folks. Welcome, everybody. Uh, welcome to PyCon Hyderabad 2020. This is the annual event that is organized by HydePy. Uh, before we get started, I'll give a brief intro about who we are and what we do. So we, the Hyderabad Python user group, uh, are a community driven for promoting Python in Hyderabad. And uh, our primary focus has been like uh, to add value to the budding Pythonista in Hyderabad. Uh, during the course of the year, we organize a variety of events such as meetups, workshops. We also conduct something called Hack Nights uh, every month. This is a, a, a dev sprint uh, where we focus on a couple of projects that are being run by Hyperpy community. One is a job board, the other one is a meetup manager. And we also conduct these annual conferences. So uh, these help us in bringing uh, the fellow Pythonista in, uh, in, an, in Hyderabad uh, together and uh, helps us uh, groom and share knowledge uh, mutually. And uh, uh, overall, uh, we try to bridge the gap between the experts and uh, the people who just start out to uh, in the field of Python and uh, help each other grow by means of sharing learning. The year 2020, it has been like really uh, kind of difficult and uh, challenging for many. And uh, it has been no different for us as well. Uh, this year, we have the third edition of PyCon Hyderabad. Uh, the first edition was in 2017, followed by 2019. In 2018, we hosted the PyCon India event. This time is the first time we are going virtual. This time, we have uh, close to 325 plus attendees, registered attendees. We have uh, four keynotes, 13 talks, and uh, six tutorials over the course of two days. Uh, hope you enjoy all the content that we have. Uh, in case you want to share anything regarding the event, uh, um, you could use Zulip. Zulip is our chat platform. Armit is a platform that uh, we will use for uh, 
conducting the event. Uh, alongside, we also have Zulip. Zulip is a platform that we use for the uh, chatting and like interacting uh, with participants. You can use this hashtag, hashtag PyConf2020, if you uh, want to tweet about the event on Twitter or any social media. And uh, this event uh, has also been uh, supported by a lot of community partners. So uh, these are the other uh, communities uh, which support Python and open source and uh, uh, FOSS in and around India and like you know, across the world as well. So uh, they have given us support and have been instrumental in like you know uh, getting us better outreach and uh, promoting the event. I'll name them quickly: Bank Pipers, Chennai Pi, Co Learning Lounge, Collab Nix, Cyberspy, DS User Group. Uh, this is actually uh, DevOps and SRE User Group, Hyderabad, Force United, GDG Mysuru, GDG Chennai, Hypertrace, ILEG Delhi, Kaggle Days Hyderabad, Pi Delhi, Pi Ladies Hyderabad. Python Pune, TensorFlow User Group, Mysuru, Women in ML and Data Science, Mysuru, Women in ML and Data Science, Hyderabad. So these communities have tied up with us and uh, they have helped us in more outreach and promoting the event. Uh, as part of the event, today after the lunch, we also have the lightning talks. If you are interested in giving a five minute lightning talk, please go ahead and fill this form. This is the link for you to fill the form. Um, you can uh, fill up the form and uh, uh, and uh, we will select a, a few talks so that you know you get an opportunity to share your knowledge with the larger community. And for the job givers, uh, in this uh, times of uh, COVID, uh, this is one thing that we thought will be helpful for quite a few people around here. Uh, if you are a job provider and if your organization is hiring, please do go to this link and fill up the open positions so that the other community members can look at this and uh, they can apply for it. The available job portions will be available on our website. So uh, please go ahead and fill this form so that it uh, provides an opportunity for uh, people who are looking out for jobs land up in a, in a job. Now, uh, we will use... Um, we are going to use Armeet as a platform. I'm sure all of you are there. That's why you are able to see this. Now, Jatin will help us in going through uh, a small demo of the platform so that you know you are uh, better equipped with the platform features and you could uh, use the platform to the uh, fullest. Over to you, Jatin, for the platform demo. Thank you, Ram. So just a sec, I'm sharing my screen. <clears throat> Ram, can you please confirm if you can see the AirMeet reception area? Yes, I can. OK. So folks, when you landed on the AirMeet platform using your magic links, this is the first screen that you'll see, the reception area, which will show you what sessions are currently live. And in the right section, it will just show you highlights of what is currently happening on the platform. Moving on uh, to the second area, this is our sessions area, where it will show you all the sessions for both days, 5th and 6th December. The opening address, which is live, it will give you uh, whenever the session is started, it will give you the button to join that session. And these sessions are yet to go live. So uh, once it's uh, live, you'll see the same button for them as well. And you can see the schedule for each session over here in the sessions area for both days, 5th December and 6th December tomorrow. Then uh, we have the lounge area where we can all connect with each other for networking. And we have two types of networking here. One is table networking. You can come and join a table and uh, meet with your other fellow Pythonists. The next is speed networking, where it will do a random match with, uh, it will do a randomly match you to some other person who is also looking for networking in the platform, uh, in the lounge area. And that session will last for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, it will end that session and automatically match you to some other person. Moving on is our arena area. We have, where we have the booths for all our community partners alongside our PyCon Hyderabad help desk. So you can reach out to us there. Then the event chart is there on the right section, uh, right side, where uh, all our fellow attendees can interact with each other. And uh, then the people section, where we can see all the attendees of the conference, we can search. And we can also have a direct chat with any of the attendees, uh, attendee by hovering over their image and just clicking on chat. And you can uh, do a one-on-one -on -one chat with them. 
So we have all our booths uh, lined up, all our community partners. So, uh, you can visit them and let's say for each uh, booth, you will also have the table networking. So uh, you can find a, com a community spokesperson there and you can join them on a table, have a chat with them and uh, learn about what all they do in the community. That's pretty much it about the AirMeet platform. I'll uh, so uh, I'll also quickly highlight about the PyCon Fetrabat help desk. So if you have any questions that you want to reach out to us, you can join us over here on uh, the help desk uh, booth, or you can just join us on Zulab chat. So, yep, this is our Zulab chat room at uh, hydpyd.zulabchat.com. And you can uh, join us on the stream PyCon Fetrabad 2020 help desk. And you can send out any questions or queries to us over this uh, stream. That's all I had for the platform. And any questions, you can reach out to us over any of these two platforms, like PyCon Fetrabad bo uh, booth or the CLF chat. Back to you, Ram. Thank you, Jatin. So. Going back, we had the pl platform demo. Uh, please use the help desk, either Zulip or Airmate. You could uh, um, you could let us know if you have any issues, and we'll be happy to help you out. And uh, last but not the least, the most important factor, uh, the code of conduct. The short form is, please don't be a jerk. Uh, be humble. Do not insult or put down fellow attendees. If you have differences, please resolve your differences peacefully. There will be zero tolerance on any type of harassment. So. Uh, Please do follow uh, the code of conduct. Uh, it is also available on our website. And um, you know, please take a read about the code of conduct. Uh, welcome to PyCon Hyderabad 2020. Now we will uh, proceed to the first keynote. Once again, thanks a lot for joining us. This is uh, uh, this event is not possible without all of you. And uh, I also would like to thank all the volunteers who have put all their efforts to bring up this event and make this event happen during this uh, time of uh, COVID. Welcome to PyCon Hyderabad. Thank you, Ram. And thank you for the opening address. So we'll quickly uh, stop this session and head over to the keynote area, uh, the sessions uh, sessions area, where our keynote uh, by Prabhu Ram Chandran will be going live in two minutes, uh, sharply at 11.05. See you folks there. Thank you for coming. Enjoy.